Well, books come in many genres. Two trademarks that appear in between any page are entertainment and education. A survival enthusiast brought his love of the outdoors inside when he visited the Bemidji Public Library to teach some kids some important survival tips that appear in different classic reads. Reporter Mary Ballstead has more with this week's Northwoods Adventure. Books like Hatchet, My Side of the Mountain, and The Call of the Wild all offer more than entertainment. And Jesse Simonson found inspiration from these survival books to teach outdoor skills to younger audiences. We take certain things out of books like Brian's Survival Shelter and uh, Katniss Aberdeen from The Hunger Games, her, her traps she makes, and Bucks from The Call of the Wild. Survival knot, and then I, uh, I've done research on other stuff like risk management, and whatnot. I just uh, been into it for years since I was uh, in middle school. I used to check out all the outdoor books. From simple traps for small game and fish to making a fire from just a cotton ball and a spark, Simmonson says these survival skills are imperative for anyone to learn. One has a destination, that, that's the survival part. You're trying to get someplace. Bushcraft is you kind of stay in one place and enjoying yourself. And one is that it can be very gear oriented or, or not, or if you know bushcraft, uh, the less you, uh, the more you know, the less you, you need. The educational value of the survival genre can take an item like a plastic water bottle and use every piece down to the label. And to think that all of these tips come from between the pages of a book. Uh, we got to get the kids away from the screens. Uh, it kind of robs them of their imagination, in my opinion. Books kind of light up, light up your brain more. While Simmonson does go over a variety of topics that can help anybody if they are stuck in the wilderness, he does shine a light on what he considers the most important tip. I'm going to have to say fire, making fire. Well, it'll save your life, for one. Uh, if you have hyperthermia and you can't make a fire, yeah, you're pretty much done. Reporting from Bemidji with this week's Northwoods Adventure, I'm Mary Balsted, Lakeland News. After the program, participants kept the survival kits they worked with. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.